it's starting to get overcast and that is having consequences for my end myopia journey let me tell you about it Hi, I'm Jem and I'm following Jake Steiner's End Myopia Method to get back to 2020 vision and life without glasses. It's all based on science, not magic, and if you want more information, I'll pop some links in the description down below. Sorry for being AWOL for the last two weeks, work got pretty hectic, but here I am again, and let me tell you how things are going. As you can probably tell, it's a grey and overcast sort of day. The weather is changing, I have my warm coat, it's definitely not so sunny just now. And that means that when I look around at things, I'm finding it harder to clear the blur. That's fine, that's to be expected. Brighter light makes it easier to see clearly. So an overcast day, it will be harder and that's fine. That doesn't mean that my eyesight is worse, but my self-talk and what goes through my brain isn't necessarily that rational. I try and clear things up. I find it difficult or maybe I can't and I think, oh no, oh no, my eyesight is rubbish again. I've obviously done stuff to ruin it. And instead of being motivated to try harder, I get the what the heck effect where I just feel like if I've already ruined it, I may as well not worry today. I'll start doing better tomorrow. So the overcast weather, the lack of sunlight makes me think I haven't been taking care of my eyes. So why start now? I know it makes no sense. I, I do have to constantly remind myself that this worse vision is not to do with my eyes it's to do with the light and it's okay and to interpret it as the next challenge as opposed to a sign that i'm failing and therefore should stop trying brains are weird i haven't measured my centimeters in ages partly because whenever i think to it's overcast and i think that's going to make my centimeters less and it's gonna make me sad and bring on the what the heck effect and just send me down a screen spiral so haven't measured in a while but every morning when I get up I do walk past my Snellen and I walk past it at exactly the right spot from where I need to look at it so when I look over at it I can see it's definitely better I can read probably the third line in the morning with no glasses it's not crisply clear but there's no doubt about it like I can read that I wouldn't have to know what letter it was whereas before not really. And so to be able to read the third line with no glasses in the morning, even when the light is gray and watery like this, I just have to find all these little encouraging things to keep reminding me that what I'm doing is working. It's working, it's working, it's working because whenever my brain has an excuse to think that maybe it's not, I fall into bad habits so quickly. So in that, I think the belief is really important not because I'm saying that the belief will magically make it happen but the belief is what keeps me consistent in my actions in what I'm doing so belief for me in and my hope here is really important whether it's important for you or not is your own business and maybe you're all waiting to see whether I actually ever manage before you <laughs> believe it anyway I'll keep going I'm feeling good that's probably all I need to say for today Hopefully I'll be back next week. Things should stay pretty normal for a little while now. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe. It means so very much to me and I post every Thursday. So I will see you next week.